Hi. A long time, huh? Oh, I need my phone. I just got back home from the store and I said, I haven't vlogged in a while. No, I'm kidding. This is all a joke. I know, I haven't been around and uh, we need to talk. The last video that I filmed was probably a year and a half ago. In this year and a half, a lot of things have happened. I'm gonna keep some things really, really short just to kind of like put it out there and move on. Uh, beginning of last year, I lost two of my relatives, um, grandparents. It was a long-term illness, so we saw it coming, but it's never easy when it does. I'm not gonna go deeper into that. Right at that similar time in April, I also uh, found out that I have gallstones in my gallbladder. I went to the ER. At the ER, they um, said that it's not an emergency. I mean, they didn't know at that point, but they said it's not an emergency, that I should go to my general doctor. But because I went to the ER, they had to take me in and they had to do some tests. They had to run tests. So they did. They put me on ultrasound and they saw that I have three gallstones. One is stuck, that's why it was hurting, and that I need surgery immediately. I was not eating for a couple of days and then I had surgery. Before I continue with the story of a surgery, while I was having that examination, right, the ultrasound, they also did the ECG, uh, heart monitoring or whatever, and then they called me back in, and they were like, hey, John, do you like uh, ever feel like you're, you have heart palpitations? You have some fluttering feeling in your, you know, like area, chest, whatever. Do you ever feel like your heart is beating fast when you're laying down, chilling, relaxing? Do you ever feel like you're gonna pass out? Do you feel dizzy? Do you feel like you're gonna faint? All those questions, and I was like, no, none of that. First time hearing about anything like it. Uh, like, you know, I mean, if you, I would experience, I would be like, yeah, sometimes I faint, or sometimes it's this and that, but never. So they told me that they discovered something that would, like a pattern that would uh, look like a Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. Again, in short, that is just, something that your heart gets an extra impulse here and there or multiple times and then generally your heart beats extremely fast for a couple of minutes shorter longer whatever they basically just said that there is something that i found and that they are suggesting a visit at the cardiologist okay surgery uh gallstones they were removed actually my whole gallbladder sac thingy was removed um laparoscopic surgery it went well, it was okay. The recovery lasted for like about three months. I was on a strict diet, I couldn't eat anything apart from chicken, rice, vegetables, uh, some biscuits like crackers and cooked apples. Uh, it was great, actually I felt really good. My stomach probably shrunk when I was like, you know, in the IV and then on that strict, di strict diet. So uh, I lost a lot of weight. Then I also gained that weight back because, well, I mean, I guess I was overeating afterwards that's on me. Nowadays I eat someone normal food, uh, but I do stick to some sort of a healthy eating habits, or at least try to. Whatever, feeling like it, you know, sometimes you have to enjoy food. I just get myself some uh, sandwich and some cola, you know, why not? Just to enjoy. That was April. One year later in February, I had my cardiology exam. We did a stress test, we did the ultrasound again, all the checks, whatnot. I don't have a wolf parkinson white syndrome when i'm relaxing or working out but generally let's say that when i'm not doing any exercise every now and then for a random reason no explanation my heart gets an extra impulse nothing serious the heart is fine you know like generally everything is fine fine all the valves all the whatever blood flow everything's fine the circulation is okay but my heart apparently gets an extra impulse what I need to do is I need to um, measure my blood pressure and make sure that it's like in the normal ranges. If it goes up, it's not good. Uh, preferably, they said they would like to see it lower, but that is also probably, now again, I am not a doctor, but they said that probably connected to my low physical activity because ever since that 
April, my uh, gallstone surgery and being bound to my couch for a couple of months, couple of months, couple of weeks. But then, you know, before I got back into exercising and also taking things like a lot slower than I um, would usually probably. Yeah, I was kind of like couch bound, bed bound, very limited movement for about, you know, six months. And then, of course, with all the things that I did in my life, you know, work or streaming or whatever, I didn't exercise as much as I would have to or should have. But I was also, during all that time, ever since I was told that there is something with my heart, until the cardiology actual like specialist uh, checkup exam, uh, I was stressing out about my heart and I was like, I shouldn't exercise because what if something's wrong and I'm gonna make it worse or, you know, whatever explanation or excuse I can give you, that's why I didn't really work out. I did go out, I did go on walks, I was like moving, but like it wasn't excessive, it wasn't like, you know, actual workouts. My heart is fine, I just need to be more active and everything's gonna be okay, apparently. Well, we'll see. But for now, I'm okay. I'm not stressing out about it, it's fine. Okay, that's it. That's like a quick recap of my year and a half, past year and a half. Uh, the streams have been good. Okay, I don't know, that's a lie. Streams have been okay, but I would say that I'm, I'm seeing like a, like, a, like a direction. Okay, that's better. Uh, streams have been not great in the past year and a half, but lately, uh, especially starting this year, January 2024, I am getting some direction, getting some sense, getting some motivation for the streams, for the content. I'm enjoying it. And that also is, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's seen in the numbers, so it's good. I like it. I'm enjoying it. It's motivating. So now future of the vlogs and like overall thought process of my vlogs. I have these things written down, so I'm gonna like read some, but like most of it, you know, I'm just gonna try to explain it. I loved filming, but even more than filming, I loved the editing part. What I didn't like and what sucked for me when it comes to vlogs was coming up with content, coming up with things to do to film them. And I felt, it felt like I was making things up just to film and just to have something to put online. It became repetitive, it became, well, for me, it became boring, it became just not it. And then I was thinking like, if that is the content creation, then I don't like it, I don't want it. I, I don't want that to be my life, you know? So I'm thinking, looking ahead, right? I'm looking for stuff that I wanna do that inspire me and that maybe potentially they will you know, inspire you, maybe you will learn something or if none of that, at least find it interesting to see me do something, okay? So we'll start with those today already. Uh, moving forward with the vlogs, uh, I will say that I will film and I will try to stay as consistent as possible because I feel consistency is the most important. Whatever it is, at least stay consistent. Uh, and I do accept that sometimes life, my life, it will be boring, will be stale, will be uninteresting. And I just have to find ways to creatively, uh, you know, pre represent it, present it, show it off, off. No, that's weird. Um, creatively find things that stand out and then we'll see I'm gonna finish my food I'm having an amazing sandwich with eggs uh, don't judge me I mean it's been a year since my year and a half since my surgery yeah year and a half since my surgery and this is amazing it's a protein sandwich with eggs you get it in Aldi or Hofer whatever you you know whatever uh, store you, you you have it's the same thing uh, protein sandwich with eggs this is my lunch I'm having some cola, you know, to enjoy. And then uh, we are making uh, pickles. Okay, so this will be my first voiceover since I thought it's gonna be easier to just tell you about the recipe instead of like, you know, writing things down. For vinegar, I'm using a 9% white vinegar or alcohol vinegar. My mix is basically one third of vinegar and two thirds of water. And then you just add salt, coriander, pepper, and all other spices if you have, you know, other preferences. You can also put sugar if you like it a little bit more sweet. Then you put everything to a boil and let it simmer for about three minutes. While you're waiting for the mixture to cool down, you cut your vegetables. Here I was testing the cu cucumbers that they are good because you don't want them to be bitter or leave any kind of uh, bad taste.
You cut them in shapes and sizes however you want. I prefer them a little bit smaller because they're then easier to consume. And I also decided to cut some uh, peppers because I like the taste and then texture when it comes out a little bit more crunchy, but still sour. Okay, so once you have all your vegetables cut, you will basically just fill in your jars. You make sure that all your jars are filled as much as possible. Okay, once you are filling your jars, you will let your mixture uh, cool down because you don't want to fill it in when it's too hot. And then you want to make sure also that you are filling in your jars all the way up. I noticed that I didn't have enough mixture because I probably just, you know, messed up with my measurements or whatever. I add a little bit more water as you can see. I also added some of the spices uh, extra into the jar so that they would leave a little bit more taste. And then you just close the lids and that's it. I didn't do the whole process of pasteurization because I will be basically consuming them in the next weeks. So it is not really needed. I just store them in the fridge once they cooled down enough. And that's it. They are nice and crunchy, also soft or somewhat soft. And they have a really, really uh, nice, pleasing sourness to it. There you go. Yeah, I thought this whole process will be a lot more complicated, but it isn't. So I would, uh, you know, if you like it, make it at home because it is very, very nice. Here we go, my pickles. So here are my cucumbers pickled and then we have a bit of bell peppers because I had them too and I said, why not also uh, pickle them. I don't know if this is, is it like, I, I guess the proper way to say is pickling, right? I pickled the peppers and I pickled the cucumbers or something. Anyway, that's it. You might have noticed that I added a bit of water. I thought I had my measurements right, but I didn't. So I had to add more water. But while I was tasting, you know, because you always have to taste test. When I was tasting, I figured it's a bit too sour. So adding a little bit of water to dilute it all uh, will not be a bad idea. But it wasn't a bad idea. It's not a good, it's not a bad idea. Now, one thing that I'm still wondering, uh, I do like sweet and sour taste. I have to figure out what sweeteners I can add, if not only sugar. So maybe next time we make sweet sour pickles. Okay, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial and uh, I don't know what else to say. I'll see you later. <laughs> So, um, you know, this week I'm trying to upload more things on uh, TikTok. I'm now posting two times a day. And I have to say, I'm seeing some decent results. That was the first one after, you know, a couple of months. And then we have second, third, and then see, these two both got over 1,000. Uh, and now we're back, you know, this this one was yesterday. This was not like that, uh, that, that, that good, I guess. But uh, these two today, I think this is decent, 500 and 390, uh, so almost 400. Pretty cool. In Ljubljana, currently, we have 29 Celsius with a 59% humidity. We have excessive heat warning 12 hours ago. High temperatures will affect the health of sensitive members of the population. And since I'm melting inside here, um, even though I have the fan running, I am going to go on a walk. Because I feel outside is gonna be a little bit more fresh than indoors. So yeah, let's go for a walk. Hello, it's me with another narration video. I actually messed up some of my camera settings, so it is what it is. I decided to go for a short walk to clear my, my head, you know, I just think about stuff. I went to the local park. It was nice, just a few people around and it was actually very, very refreshing. After, um, I don't know, like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, I decided to go back home. Uh, once I got back, I hopped online uh, to play some Counter-Strike with uh, Skullin and Tycon. And yeah, it was good, you know, played some rounds. Later on, Shadow and Asuda joined and we switched to Geogaster for a bit. 
Next day, Thursday was actually my off day, so I had to I had some time to focus on my projects. Started by editing a few short videos for TikTok from my Stardew Valley streams. Then first episode of the Walking Dead playthrough. After that, I worked on finishing one of my music production projects. It was a productive day and it felt really, really good to, you know, make some decent progress. On Friday, after work, Luca and his girlfriend picked me up and we went to Mozirski Guy to check out an exhibition of exotic animals. There really honestly wasn't much to see, uh, but it was a nice walk and it was good to have <coughs> a bit of change of uh, scenery. Uh, they are actually also a botanical garden kind of thing, so lots of flowers, lots of um, plants to, to check out and it was nice, it was good. As far as the exhibition of exotic animals uh, goes, we did spot some turtles. I mean, they basically had them on display. We had some turtles, uh, there was a centipede that we were able to touch, a couple of snakes, uh, pythons mainly. They also had some snails that were interesting to see, like that's probably one of the biggest snails that I've ever seen. I think they said it's like the biggest snail in Europe. Uh, there were also bearded dragons. We actually had a chance to uh, catch them when they were feeding him. Towards the end of our visit, we spotted some parrots and to my surprise, they also had a real beehive with like active bees. It was pretty crazy. One more thing, this whole botanical garden has these very interesting wooden structures and small houses, like, you know, a little village of dwarves would live there. They have this uh, wooden cart or a car, like a proper car, everything wooden. Oh yeah, also these eggs, dragon eggs or whatever, really, really, really cool. Afterwards, we decided to grab some food and we said like why not go check out this newly opened KFC that just opened in Ljubljana. I was looking at their menu online and I expected more options, but then at the end I only ordered a Twister and a peanut butter milkshake. I really had to, you know, try it. The milkshake was really, really good. The Twister was kind of dry, so I had to add some extra sauce to make it better. Their garlic sauce is actually really good. Luca and Alina shared a bucket, but honestly, they weren't too thrilled with it either. Overall, the food was just okay, I would say. Really can't say much more about it, but the experience was definitely something new. Good morning. So I'm on my way to my parents. Me and uh, dad, we're gonna work on a scooter, basically fixing it, and hopefully it's gonna start. Uh, last week we already opened it and we kind of like cleaned some things and then we figured out that a fuel link or fuel tap is broken so I had to order uh, the part um, this past week and now we're gonna install it and see see if it works. It is 10 a.m. and it is so hot I'm sweating just sitting in a car. <coughs> how am I how am I then sneezing if it's so hot? <sighs> I hate it. Here it is. The back. This right here is the part that was that was broken. We have to replace this whole thing. The problem is that we have some some fuel in the tank. Uh, and this is the new one. The replacement. Yeah. We are already cleaned all of these uh, fuel and oil. We also checked. We also checked all the connections. We changed. The, we checked the filter if it's okay. Um, all the tubes are fine. So overall, it should be should be okay. Should be working. So yeah, changing that part, the fuel tap, and then uh, then we'll see.
Okay, it runs. There you go. Fixed it. I'm kidding. Got a haircut. There you go. There you go. Just because you said that I had to get it, so I did. Good morning. It's Tuesday. I have a stream today, but I'm gonna finish this vlog. And I just wanted to say uh, I hope that you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Now I'm off to edit and finish wrap this up and I will see you on uh, the next one. Bye bye.